successes that we've been doing. All right, there, there you go. Yeah, that's if, I mean. if, if, but there, see, this is where the science of breath comes in. Right. Knowing how to properly breathe right. and activate the higher brain senses, crystals, proper dieting. Right. All right. So that's how we would connect, reconnect to the ancestors. But just simply, no. you know, the ancestors. That, 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 that's, that's what we do. That's what we do. That's what we do. Now it's all about what we do and how. What power is in that? How does it? Has it, how has it improved our social, political, and economic condition? So it's not just merely calling on, you know, the people with, oh, oh my God, come help me. Oh my God, you know, they hang us. God, I mean, you know, they just stop the hanging. No, just keep it real, though. That just stopped the hanging. They were praying, we were praying about it. You know, before we got, you know, we were on a tree, they, before they hit it, pulled the rope. We, we, you know, we call on God, and we still hanging from the tree. The tree. What's, what's so what's the power in it? A simple thing to do is that you can try to come out and um, write as you would do it. Anything as you do, say you have that, that child have a gift, right? But really, then you need um, the biological aspect about that, about the child. But if you have a child have a gift, you have your gift. But if you have your child have your gene for yourself. You're talking about the gift is the genes. Right, but right. 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 it says that that is in you. All right. Go ahead. We got to do something. You all good for There is a Moorish American manufacturing company making oils and bath salts. That's still in existence. It hasn't changed, you know. But what has it done for the rest of us? You know, they, they make oils, teas, and and uh, what? You know, what? Salt. Yes. Yes. And it, it was more. It was. It was driving for a back. Uh, this. Who I know this brother. Uh, brother Zine, Hopkins Bay, uh, Temple Number no. Eleven, North Philly. Is that fifth in? Um, is that fifth Dolphin? Mm -hmm. Fifth Dolphin. Um, what your history book fails to tell you? By Zine, Hopkins Bay. Yeah. Uh, man, I remember when he was sixteen. You know, yeah, I've got a problem. But I mean, what, what, what has Vietnam development done so, you know, what does it mean? But even if we do have a manual, manufacturing company, what does it mean for the rest of us, you know? Oh, all right, good, really good question. I'm going to, I don't want to, because it'll take me away from, you know, any lesson. Because you, it's, yeah, it's pretty much the same, along the same lines. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just another subject matter, and what I've learned in the past, I would answer that, and then it, it would take me away from it. I've done that, you know, I've learned from it. And some of you have commented on that, I thank you for that, you know. And so I, I want to stay on point, because I can't answer it in one minute. It's just not, it's, it's not logical, I just want to be logical. If you don't like that, you cannot answer it in one minute. Edible logical meaning of that word, economic. Um, economic. Oh, economic. Since you go to the etymology of words, what's that one? Oh, well, I didn't. Okay. I, I, I didn't see. Back up. All right. Uh, I'm just going to put it up there. <laughs> I, I don't want to. You know, trying, trying to be disciplined here. You know, because uh, I want y'all to go away with something solid. You know, do too much. You know,
Right, we're going to get the etymology of the word black. Uh, Brother Mom, in my etymology class on Monday night after the class, he looked up, he punched in his um, the iPhone, uh, Niger, and this is what it gave him. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Martin, mm -hmm. quote, to flash, shine, unquote, Latin, black bear, to blaze, Latin, flame up, and then they have the uh, parentheses, flagma, and flame, and Greek, philox, flame, P A L O S. Uh, there's, there's another one is a sentence should be uh, Blanca, the Latin word for, for white. Can you see? I didn't need to read that. The Latin word for white. Go, yes. The Latin word for white. Blanca. Yeah, Casa, Casa Blanca. Alright. So this, this word, Blanca, alright, falls into the same family as black. Same family. Etymological. Mm -hmm. Alright? See the structure. Yeah. Alright? It falls in the same family. Mm -hmm. So this is Constant Blanca's White House. Bleach. So black falls, you put in black in the proper family. Words. Black in the proper family words. Bleach. Blanca. Proper family words. Black. Black. But it means shine. Bright. Alright? Let's go to Christ. You know what this means. So, burn. When you burn ashes, paper turns into ashes. Containing ashes is carbon. So these words lead us to the study of carbon, which is the study of melanin. Carbon, organic chemistry, is a branch of chemistry that studies over 10 million carbon combinations. So this word, Power. It leads to melanin. Dr. Drew Putin studies melanin and she talks about the many properties of melanin and dealing with even the higher states of consciousness. How melanin relates to consciousness. You know, they melt into how you tie into the word spirit. And we made that relationship. This is more science. I'm giving you reference. Not just, you know, I'm showing you the origin of these words. Any comments? Questions? What do you think about the word when you burn something, like when you burn, put something in a kiln and test it too? Mm -hmm. Carbon, you know, that's carbon. Right. It's carbon. It's, it's 10 million carbon combinations that study. Organic chemistry specifically studies carbon. The word Christ means shine, burn. The word, it was, since the sun shines, all right, the word Christ was applied to the sun. But not limited to that. Right. All right? But you know how the sun relates to us, and how the melanin converts sunlight to vitamin D. So we have a direct relationship to the sun. So if you're looking at this word here, you're definitely looking at the relation between the melanin and the sun. And how the how melanin, how the sun affects melanin. Alright? Don't study it separately and show how to study it as together. Alright? It's more science. Are you already asked any other questions? Alright, so we'll be, so we'll be clear on the etymology of the word black. So we, we've been taught that, that this is black. Alright? Now, the etymology of it means burn, shine, bright. How has it been applied to something that looks like this? No. Because when you burn paper, it looks like. So, 
This is the aftermath of something being burnt. It looks like this. Charcoal. Alright? But that's not the original application of the word. Something like that's an aftermath of it. Um, type Google Dr. Duke, Dr. Duke Cooper. Well, she's on mine. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's going to call it science. Yeah, she's going to call it her. That's 19, I met her in 94. Todd and I met her in 94 or 5. Sick of her. Carol Barnes, too. You got another name? Carol Barnes. Oh, Carol, yeah, Carol Barnes. Richard, Richard King, King. Yeah, Richard King. Mm -hmm. Sam Hunt, yes. Those are the three. There's another, there's another brother whose name I can't recall. Mm -hmm. right. uh, Putin, really, she really, uh, I, when I listen to her, I listen to her on her cassette tape about wow. 10 times. I made mean, copies for all workers, friends, and I was so inspired you know, by, you know, you know the, the cassette tape. She talked about the many properties of it. And that NASA uses melanin to, you know, to, to coat wires. The melanin can absorb a tremendous amount of heat. I mean, we have a, I mean, yes, this, this word, You know, you know, we 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 think of this. We're not even we're not thinking this. So they removed us from this. So we don't want to have nothing to do with it. I'm not a Christian. I. But then. I. So what's the name of Constantine? The whole system. That's what it's called, Constantine. Constantinople. It's not Christianity. It's, what you're talking about is not Christianity. Christianity is a study of melanin. You're talking about Constantinople. Creed. And not Christianity. You're using the wrong words. That's what they yeah, They call it. The masses call it Christianity. I'm not disputing. You know that the masses call it that. That's what they call it, but that's not what it is. Christianity is the study of carbon. Which leads you to melanin. That's Christianity. This is what they acknowledge of. Alchemy. Alchemy too. So the popes of Rome control this world. And to disconnect you from it, they got the power. Now, what am I doing? Reconnecting you, realigning you to it, so that we can have the power. Take the word church from them too, and the architect of the building. <coughs> Just, I want someone to show me one thing that's Moorish. One. One that's Moorish. I mean, that's not Moorish. That's not Moorish. And I'll show you the origin of it. We talk about the origin. You know, what you'll give me is the connotation, the distorted meanings. It's all Moorish. Even the priest prays to the east. All that. The 12 stations of the cross. The church is the church. The zodiac is the church. It's the church right here. The zodiac. Everything about it. So how they did it? They took it. They distorted it. And then they what? Disconnected you from it. And I got nothing to do with that. I don't want nothing to do with the church. I do. I do. I'm not talking about. I'll be now. I'm not talking about Constantinopolianism. I'm talking 
Christianity and the church is pure form. And it's pure form. What I'm doing is deep disconnecting Constantine from it. Disconnect Constantine from the church. Disconnect Constantine from Christianity. Don't align Constantine to Christianity. Don't align Constantine to the church. I'm talking about in its purest form. Follow me. In its purest form. They distorted it through connotations. So you think in Christianity, you know, is the study of some, some man who lived 2,000 years ago. And you're not, you know, relate that to this. And melanin. And carbon. That's what the power is. Talk to any pastor, any man, rabbi, pat out, deacon, they don't think. You, you know what? Take the word deacon from them too. Take the word deacon from them. Deaconess from them. Take the word church from them. Right? Don't give it that word, Bible. Right? The building, take the building from them. The architecture. The architecture. The architecture, the architecture of it. I'm not talking about the modern one, the big modern, you know, museum that was built 10 years ago. I'm talking about the Moorish architecture that you see on, on North Field, on, on North Broad Street. I'm not talking about, you know, a building that looks like this. You know, I'm talking about cathedral. That's more, that's more science. That's more architecture. That's what I'm talking about. Those are our buildings. That's more culture. That's more architecture. That's where the power is. Knowing that. Knowing that. Having that knowledge. And they step. Oh, man. Oh, you see that more architecture? Man, it's grand. Wow. Are you, are you talking? And don't even worry about this, but they don't copy them. That's all right. You know, take the power. Oh, man, you know, man, man, I sure consult the Zodiac, man. I swear I go to church, man, because I consult the Zodiac. Look, don't bother. Don't even get caught up with whether they copy him, where you go on from. Just talk. All right? Now, what are you doing? You claim the power. But well, you want to talk on that level? Go ahead. Go ahead, talk on the level. They, you talk on that level, they control the conversation. Because as soon as they say church, they ask you, well, do you, you go to church and say no, they got you. As soon as you say no, they already got you because they now control the word church. They control the word in a distorted sense, all right? Because you said no, means you just disconnect yourself from the word church. You didn't put the word church in its proper ethnological perspective. Therefore, they got they maintain the power. That's how it's done. It's that simple. It's no, it's not complicated. It's that simple. They're using words. They're using. They present connotative meanings. They teach their minions. And they got all their minions. They look like us. You know what I mean? You go, you go to church. My Jesus. Oh, mom, take, take word Jesus from them too. Let's take Jesus from them. Yes. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I'm just as serious as I want to be. And it's just giving you this information, and you will grow with it and their confidence. I don't expect you to walk out here and be as confident as I am. I'm not a fool. But in time, I'm not silly. Well, I guess I am silly. I'm happy that you're here, so I can silly. In the 1500s, the word silly was the So I think so. I'm happy. I know, I know. I can. <laughs> yes, you have your name, yes. I recognize it. The buildings that you're talking about, they were structured in such a way that they drew 
That's why the roots were brass. That's why I, that's my point. That's exactly science. That's why the roof, roofs were brass on the Moorish churches. That's what that did. That's all that energy. Let's look at Jesus. Let's still here. Right. Let's look at that etymology and Bible and stuff, right? Etymology and Bible. Nobody knows what it means. Okay. Well, you know what? We already. Anybody? Can someone recognize something? Isis. Isis. Zeus. Zeus. You already know what? There you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> There you go. Because I see. All right. See that here. We have Zeus. We see the. Um, Well, it's 
Spanish and Latin are the same family. Right. Also, you'll see this is the H2. Right. Right. But, right. but I'm saying that you're talking about a transliteration of this. The H is also used as well. Right. Right. Because, see, it's actually sound. This letter here is pronounced an H. See, yeah. going back to sound, like for instance, and I know you're going, pronounce this letter in German. Oh. It sounds like a B. 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 Yeah. Volkswagen. Volkswagen. Both The Germans will say Volkswagen. Yes. Volkswagen. Volkswagen.
on that related to the sun. Christ because the sun shines. The moon also shines too. Well, actually, no, 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 the sun moon doesn't shine. The moon doesn't shine. Moon doesn't. The sun shines. The moon doesn't shine. The sun, the moon is a filter. So the moon, the moon is a reflector. So it doesn't shine. Alright, so uh, we move on. We have all that. More science. More science. Alright, so let's look at the uh, the structure of the Moorish government. I talk to, I, I, I always, you know, get out to listen to a uh, nationalized conscious board. And I was in New York on uh, Wednesday, conversation that, uh, that the Moors need to have their own courts. That was the statement that was made. The Moors need to have their own courts, you know, you know the Moors need to have their own government. And I'm listening, and I'm saying to myself, he doesn't know that this is our government. Yeah. I mean, see, we see Europeans and Moorish Guard, black girls, and we, you know, think that's Moorish government, European, you know, government, European courts. You know, we, it, it, our concepts, you know, and I, and I comprehend why. But there was no, we don't, we don't, we don't know the history. There was no Europeans, right? So how well, did they do anything when they weren't, and I, and they you weren't know, and you there? Know, I'm using European connotation. Kind of yeah, I know, but there was no European. There wasn't even I'll, a place called Europe. So we're... I'm using European connotation. Kind of mm -hmm. All right. Hey, now, I'll, 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 I'll say I'll be I'm using kind of, the European applies to us. I said that an hour ago. <laughs> did I, oh, no, did I, no, did I say that an hour ago? Oh, did I, did I, did I, did I, what? <laughs> I'm like, wait, I just said, I don't, I don't want you to say anything I'm saying. Please don't. I mean, you know, I was saying that. We went over that an hour ago. This is just giving you the lesson, Dr. I don't want to do that again, but that's why I'm saying I'm using European yeah. commentary. Okay. I'll be honest. I'll, I'll be honest. No, that yes. What's that Well, if they're using more sovereignty to erect the traffic court. 
That's more sovereignty. Traffic is commerce. Well, that's a commerce. Cool of commerce. They use so they're using more sovereignty. They're not using English sovereignty. Irish sovereignty. French sovereignty. Barack Obama is not exercising English sovereignty. He's not exercising Irish sovereignty. He's not exercising French sovereignty, Dutch sovereignty, Welsh sovereignty. Barack Obama is exercising more sovereignty. One government here is the Moorish government. All right? Everyone check out a Federal Reserve note if you have one. This whole concept that we need our own government, that we need our own court, is bogus. We need to reclaim that which is ours by birthright. Barack Obama is under this. Barack Obama is under this authority. George Bush. Under this authority, Al Gore, Thomas Jefferson, George Washington, Ben Franklin. Uh, you get the point. Under this authority, I'm not an artist. I'm not an artist. We all know what this means. Please don't criticize me. <laughs> I, I, I've been doing this for I, I must know how to draw this. I know, I know. But as long as I get the point across, you know, hey, I know. Todd, you know, hey, I need to, hey, I know. I've done it, I've been doing this for so long. I know, I know. I showed that with Jesse Ventura last week. That, of the eye. At George Washington, at William Green Federal District Building on 5th and Arch Street, opposite the tax office, William Green Federal, it's a federal building. William Green Federal, Street. opposite the tax office, we have the obverse and reverse of the Moorish government. You notice how they say these two seals. And reverse. I didn't say these two seals deliberately. You don't see two, it's not two seals. Alright? And the way it's positioned, see it's distorted. Because it's on a flat surface. See, let me see this book now, please. This is, this is a distortion. Alright? Because it's on a flat surface. So it gives the appearance that it's two seals. Alright? And I, so I have to explain that. Because I said, brother, what are you talking about? What do you mean there's no two seals here? I learned how to count in, you know, preschool. Look, it's one, two. What do you mean it's not this, this, there's only one seal here? And so I have to explain that. This is distortion. All right? It should be displayed this way. It should be displayed this way. This way. One coin, one coin, all right, yeah, but I, I, but we're going, we're going, let me just show them, because it's flat, right, it's flat, all right, and so it gives the appearance that it's two seals, right, all right, but if you use a coin, you get a better comprehension, one coin with an obverse and reverse, one, one coin having two sides. One government, but it, people can't see, so I have to, you know, I gotta facilitate the seeing process. You know, I can't assume that people are gonna see. So we've been, we've been reminded through connotation and distortion. All right, so I have to break it down. All right, so one government, one Moorish government with an obverse and reverse. Not two governments. Not two governments. Moorish, European, not Albion. Not two governments. 
not Moorish and Avian. Moorish. Moorish. The Moorish government having an obverse and reverse. See, the concept that Moorish government, European Avian government. Moorish government, European Avian government. Moorish government. Obverse and reverse. So they not they don't have their own sovereignty that they exercise the English sovereignty, Irish sovereignty, Dutch sovereignty. They're exercising all right, Moorish sovereignty. Barack Obama, all right, stands behind this, all right, reverse and exercising Moorish sovereignty. They have usurped our sovereignty. So, all right. You mind, brother? I'll uh, remove your crown for me. Just for the demonstration. Just for the demonstration. I'm an Albion, all right, in Moorish, Moroccan descent. I removed this crown, all right, put him in captivity. And I put a cap on him. I put a brim. I put a brim, all right, and the brim is blocking the light, symbolically. Yeah. Knowledge. Yeah. All right? So our brothers do wear a tall boots. And I let the brothers know that they have a tall boots on. With a brim, a fitting is a tall boots with a brim. A what? A fitting. A cap. They call it a fitting. You know, a fitting. You know, a fit. You know, a fit. Yeah, you know. No, 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 that's no. A baseball cap. The blood they call it a fit. Because it fits to size. That's so why they call it a fit. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, they call it, that's what it's called. You know, you got that's the language that they use, you got a fit. Now I'm, I'm in the school, so I yeah. So they put a, a brim on the cap. Alright? Capstone, captivity, the brim. Blocking the light, mm -hmm. consciousness, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. So that's a that's a tall boost. It's still a tall boost. Mm -hmm. It just has a grammar. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. I don't know why I don't know that concept of why they turn it around. There is no concept. Yeah, why they turn it around, you know, we talk about the gangs and stuff. It's a star. Different different meanings. I don't I don't know the gangs. It's a star. Like that. That's, that's that's right. But I'm just talking about the grammar itself. The brim was, was connected. I mean, the talk who's already exist. Mm -hmm. They took that which already existed and put a brim on it. Okay. Yes. What I would say, their innate science, their innateness, their innate knowing said to them it was blocking the light. That's the brim. Right. Right. They may not be oh, conscious yeah. of it, but oh. that's, that's, that's oh, it. There's something to talk to, think about. Think about the what? Yeah. Then they make it innately. Yes, innately. They said it was blocking the sun or blocking the light, so they turn it around. Let me add light to what she's saying. No, it's not that this is wrong. You're not thinking with your mind. There's something to be wrong. It's innately. Yes, it's not genius. Yeah, that's what she's saying. Innately. I got you. Innately. We are genius people.
we think that someone who writes from from right to left, all right, Hebrew, Arabic, come on, come on, all right, Chinese up and down, and up, all right. So you're looking at right to left. You read right to left. The Albion's call that dyslexia. Mm -hmm. So someone who's innately, Sister Fatima says, does that, but this confirmed, I'm just using that example. Oh, that's dyslexia. So it's so suppressed. The innate. They whack your hand real good from 3K until you break that left hand. Right with your left hand. Yup, yup. Not that you want to go from right to left. That's the next thing. Just adding credence to what Sister Fatima was saying. Alright? And that's two. That they, they had a rule. You hit your hand. Alright? The right hand is called Dexter, Dexterity. And the left hand is called Sinister. sinister. Alright? that in mind, y'all. So simply speaking, but she's provoking that thought. I'm making a good point. So that's, this is the correct way. Right to left. You know, so English is what? Right? Left to right. Opposite. But that's modern. So what's the, all right? Come into our face and stand 
to on that public and say democracy, you call them the government. They themselves tell you that they're not the government. To your face. To your face they tell you that they, they're enemies to the government. Barack Obama included. His, in his inaugural address, he, I counted it. I was listening. I was listening. Democracy. 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 Five times he was democracy. Okay. In his inaugural address. Wow. Uh, one time. Go big. Count with yourself. Go listen to him. What do you mean he looks like this? Yes. When was that word used as repression? repression. About when? 
Oh, good, good question. I know she, I know, I'll be in the question. I, let me get back to you on that. Let me get back to you on that. Thank you for that question. She's asking, when was this actually used? When was the first time it was used by um, Albion Steel? Because this was all, because this, you know, this is a big room. Right, right. So this has an age, you know, this is, you know, over 2,000 years old. All right, so that was the first, but she's talking about when did those who took an oath of office on Moore's Constitution, mm -hmm. all right, when did they start using, that, that's what she's asking. Yes, yes. 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 Very clear. Yes, please. I'm not saying it was a thought, but I am saying from what I have studied, I began to see it.